So from the previous episode, we know that um, stage two is a Trojan downloader that connects to a Discord server and the downloads uh, stage three uh, component, uh, which is uh, uh, presented as a JPEG file, as a fake uh, JPEG file. And um, as we know, it's uh, a .NET uh, library. Then we can use uh, .NET decompiler. And if you have a Flare VM, then you need to go to uh, .NET folder. And here we have a DNSPY. I recommend using this decompiler, .NET de de decompiler. And because we know that the application was uh, built for 32-bit platform, we need to use DNSPY x86. Otherwise, it won't work. So we start uh, this decompiler. And then we need to load stage two. It's our .NET DLL to this uh, decompiler. So first, I clean in the assembly, assembly explorer, then move our stage two here. And uh, the first window, the first screen show us uh, version and for structure. This is a, a strings in Russian that I mentioned before that they were copied from the Russian version of the explorer. And then if we open the file, so there is a P structure here presented as well. Then uh, there is an actual code. But we know that uh, this Trojan, it's a Trojan download and it's going to connect to Discord. And that's why we can search for uh, any URL, um, HTTPS uh, selected files. So the files loaded only, only in, in Assembly Explorer um, and currently selected in this Explorer. And here it's going to be a string, probably string variable. And yes, we have some string variable inside of the method called change facade. So we have a class facade here, which uh, has a bunch of methods. And now we can see that, yeah, there is a, this URL that points to discord app.com, which is a, like a CDN server. And it's a JPEG that is going to be, uh, the format of the file is JPEG. The interesting thing is also that uh, the method that uh, is going to be executed is called download data, but the name of the method is obfuscated as well. You can see that uh, in the method, uh, the letter X added in, 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 into the name, and then uh, the modifier rep replace was added that uh, actually, um, replaces X with uh, empty space. And in such way, uh, the attackers, they try to obfuscate it, but uh, for some reason they didn't do it with the URL. So it's easy to find uh, this uh, occurrence of this URL in the code. So that's uh, uh, basically what we can do uh, in our, uh, as a uh, part of static analysis in DNSPY. We can also search for uh, uh, base64 strings and we have uh, in the reflect facade we have uh, some strings actually part of the base64 string and if we go down we see that uh, there is a powershell and there is a uh, minus ang and then uh, the first part of the base64 uh, string. Remember this uh, PowerShell comma that was executed to start sleep for 10 seconds. So that's, that's the place where it is, the command is uh, constructed and then later executed. So uh, that's basically what I wanted to show uh, within the static analysis of this component in DNSPY. And in the next video, uh, before we start uh, debugging, uh, we need to set up a fake Discord server. And to do that, we are going to use a uh, fake net ng from uh, the engineers from Mandiant, uh, Sikorsky and Honig. A uh, very useful tool if you if you want to simulate uh, CNC servers uh, during malware analysis. So see you in the next episode. Thank you for your attention.